Life Church, can you believe all God has done here in just four short years? In a day and age where many churches are plateaued or declining, Life Church is a healthy, thriving community. It all began for us in 2011 when God birthed in my heart a white hot vision for what the church could be and should be. But we wanna be a church that will do whatever it takes to reach people far from God throughout the Great Lakes Bay region. No reserves, no retreats, no regrets. Uh, we eventually were able to scrape together some money and in September 2012, we rented the Dow Event Center to hold our very first monthly worship service. It was fun and it was also chaotic, but together we saw God begin to plant the seeds for something big. St. Patrick's Day of March 2013, we launched our weekly worship experiences when we rented the huge theater at Saginaw Valley State University. And together we were lifting high the name of Jesus, worshiping our faces off, and bringing some fun, creative kids ministries into the Life Church. And then we moved into the Saginaw School District. We started meeting at Sherwood Elementary, and uh, I'll be honest, that was hard. Doing setup and tear down at an elementary school, I think we were the slowest growing church in America. But slowly but surely, in those uh, dark times, God built a perseverance in our hearts, a, a faith to push forward, push harder, uh, until finally in November of 2014, we came to this abandoned golf center and we opened our doors uh, on a step of faith. And that's when things began to really take off. By February of 2015, so many people were coming here that we had to expand to two identical worship services, which is nuts in Michigan winter that you're growing. And we continue to see lives changed, families healed, relationships brought back together at Life Church. We were invited by a friend and we came to the church. We liked it, but we still weren't sure. We ended up volunteering for the egg drop last year and fell in love, loved the involvement in the community that the church has and um, just never left. We visited other churches, but we always managed to come back here and fell in love. Um, we love, one, being able to not only um, come to a church where the atmosphere is so friendly, the people are so inviting, uh, but you actually feel love and it feels like a family environment. You know, we've been to different churches, uh, and we stayed at our last church for quite a few years, but being the spiritual leader of our home, um, we both were not feeling the direction that, that the church was going, but coming here um, to Life Church, um, watching my wife step outside of her comfort zone, because um, she's not big with crowds and serving, you know, <laughs> not big with meeting new people, but she's been so comfortable and so relaxed which has made it easier for me because I am who I am. I'm a very outgoing person, um, very um, openly spoken, um, but my wife, it was just real important for, for me to find somewhere, not only where she was comfortable serving, but also allowing God to use her, bring the best out of her, which is also helping us bring the best out of our marriage and serving God and pleasing God together. So it's just been an awesome experience. Life Church is the best thing that's happened to the Pritchett family. Uh, one of my buddies that was coming here is a fellow lifer. Uh, I worked with him for five years and he continuously, every day, invited me to church. And I kept putting it off and putting it off. And finally, I decided to give it a try. And this was before we were even allowed in the building. We were still outside doing the Sundays and heard the music, heard John, fell in love. and told Keish about it because originally she was going to another church at the time and, and uh, she finally came and she brought Alex and Alex loved it and that was the key right there. When you find a teenager that loves church, that's the church for you. <laughs> when we started coming to Life Church, we were kind of going through some hard times in our relationship and the one thing that we were missing was our spiritual connection together mm -hmm. and once we started coming to church, we started learning better. Our son was more involved. He started volunteering. We started volunteering. Ian joined the praise and worship group. 
Um, I was working in the nursery and we were able to give back what was given to us. Our marriage, I think, was saved by us having the spiritual relationship and a church family yeah. to help be here for us. That and was the main thing was I wasn't taking responsibility and being the spiritual leader of our household and through John's relatable messages for myself and for my son, I was able to see where I needed to prove in my life, step up to the role I'm supposed to have and be the spiritual leader I'm supposed to be for my wife and my son. You feel blessed stepping up and doing everything. It's, you can't describe it, you just gotta try it and do it. Absolutely, and that's, we've been very blessed with the friends that we've met here. They're gonna be lifelong friends family. and family. It's all family now. And even though we're only four years old, by God's grace, we bought our Saginaw campus. We own this 40 acres. And so in the years to come, we can expand and build on here as we continue to reach more lives at our brand new Midland campus. It would be so easy for us to rest on our laurels and say, hey, we're a success, we're a fast growing church, and, and now we can just kind of sit down and settle. But no, I, I don't think we're called to be settlers, we're called to be pioneers believing that God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly more than we could ever ask for or imagine. We've had a lot of fun so far leading up to this point, but I believe that in Christ, the best is yet to come.